Hey, what's up guys? So cracking on with the color correction slash color grading part of our Adobe Premiere Pro Masterclass. The section I want to take a look at now and direct your attention to is going to be the creative panel as part of the Lumetri color panel in the color tab on Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, the reason I want to show you guys this is because this is my favorite area of the color Lumetri color panel because of one simple thing, and that is going to be looks slash LUTs. This is by far my favorite way of actually color grading stuff with quite a minimal effort once I've done a basic color correction using the basic correction panel. And the reason I love this creative panel, like I said, is because these looks slash LUTs. Now, this might be the first time you've ever clicked this little drop down menu right here, but you can go ahead and click it and you will be greeted with a huge list of preset color grades where you can tweak these and level these up further to actually um, just amplify the color scheme of your image so much. Now, first off, I'm going to introduce you to these basic ones here. And then in the next miniature, miniature section, we're going to talk about how you can actually import your own custom ones and then also save your own once you've started tweaking um, color schemes to a next level where you think you're at the level to start saving presets um, because you've done such a nice color grade simply based off tweaking this stuff. But overall, all, the creative panel offers you the ability to, for example, click on uh, this drop down menu right here and select a look. Now, one that I really like is the Fuji Eterna 250D Kodak 2395 by Adobe. Let's go ahead and just click this, and I want you guys to follow through if you're open on the screen right now as well. Go ahead and follow through by just adding that to our image. And instantly, that is going to add a color grade. It, it hasn't tweaked anything down there because all of these settings are built into this right here. Now, you can use this one or this one. Both of these are, are hands down my favorite, these two right here. And they are each going to give you a slightly different um, color grade. Now, by all means, all of these in here, for example, if we go down here and select a random one, they're all going to give you a much different color grade, but this right here is going to be setting a more dynamic and a more cinematic color scheme to your stuff, and instantly you can see when we've added these ones here, it's looking much more like a movie, much more crazy, much more serious, and overall, much more cinematic, and that is what these LUTs really uh, give you the option to do, is for example, if we go back to one of the ones that I said I really liked, like, like this one right here, um, not only can we import these, but we can actually level them up and increase, um, either increase or decrease intensity. For example, if we wanted to make this double the strength, which I would not want to, that's a little bit crazy there. Or if we wanted to make this zero strength, you can see what it's looking like before until we actually, um, for example, if we give this a play and then just start leveling this up, I usually keep mine on about 100 or 50. So they set this automatically to about 100 for you. Oh, that's the next clip. I'll throw that over there. And personally, I keep it on about 100 or um, or about 50, depending on how much light is in my scene. But this is hands down one of my favorite ways to actually color grade. And by all means, we're going to be going into the more extensive ones, for example, the curves, in a following lecture in a minute. But I just wanted to quickly introduce you to the basic default looks and LUTs available to you within Premiere Pro. And I would definitely advise you guys having a browse through all of these. These are straight up just built in to... Premiere Pro, and I believe once you guys start finding some that you like the look of, for example, like I found a couple up here that I really like the look of, and this color creative panel right here, honestly, is my go-to when I want to um, create a nice color grade to a set amount of images without actually having to put a lot of work in tweaking all this stuff to actually level up my image and my, and, and, and my color scheme to a point that I'd be happy with like this. And you can save yourself a lot of time by simply using this easy method available to you within the creative tab on the color panel in the Lumetri color tab available to you within Adobe Premiere Pro. And you can actually take this base color grade layer and if you ever want to turn anything off, by the way, you can see the, the drastic difference it makes by simply unticking the box up here. And you can see it's a much flatter image that you might not have even realized needed more to it. And actually, if we turn that on, it's much more dynamic, much more cinematic. And overall, this looks much more like a, like a real film quality piece and almost like a scene from a movie than, for example, this boring, flat, uh, you, you know, kind of amateur-looking, uncolor-graded um, 
image is going to be looking like. But overall, that is a brief example of the basic color grade within Adobe Premiere Pro and the Lumetri Color Creative Panel available to you. We're going to be moving on now with uh, the, the, the best and the coolest methods for actually color grading and color correcting your clips. Moving straight on to a follow-up of this by actually doing a mini exercise next, guys, where we're going to import a custom LUT and uh, actually tweak it to our liking.